planting potatoes. Yeah. Ball planter. This is my guinea pig food. Not quite ready. So, I don't know what the results I'm going to get from this. But, I'm going to put the potatoes in anyway. Not that I ever get any when I plant them. I don't get nowhere no matter what compost I use. So. My hands are supposed to be upside down. The window facing up. <laughs> this is a mixture of everything. Everything fertilizer. Fish blood and bone. Um, uh, the, I'll show you guys when I make another video because I don't remember. When I say a little of everything, I mean a little of everything. Now, I don't know if this is going to work because every year I plant potatoes and every year... I get none, no matter how I plant it, you know, so, I don't have high hopes, so. I had to, like, say, I had to, like, I had to apologize, like, sorry, but. I don't know, maybe it's the and slugs and snails getting to them. I need to get a shovel, be right back. What we're going to do is make it look like, oh, Like I said, this is guinea pig poop. In some spots, they may not be ready, so. I'm not going to try to plant it. I'm going to just hit the spots that are already. These are just purple potatoes because every year I order red potatoes. Red flesh, red skin. And these companies always send me purple like I don't know my colors. And then... And when I complain, you know what they do? They send me another order of the same potatoes. So I'm like, what in the world? One company gave me my money back. I prefer getting my money back instead of sending me another order of potatoes because you're only going to send me the same ones and I'm still in the same dilemma. Nothing changed. So... Yeah. Like, look, if you didn't hit, if you accept my path, this is, this is what I'm <laughs> Now, you can, either, you can either, you know, so, say no. Or... I'm putting a table, one tablespoon in each, maybe one or two tablespoons in each hole. Depends. And since... I don't believe they'll grow anyway. I'm just throwing them in. Oh, man. Chips came off of that one. Chips.
shit came over that one, so. And that's it. Wrong side. This is not easy squeezing this thing. This is supposed to be easy. Because my condition is fixing my hand, nothing is easy these days. Everything is hard. Oh, come on. This is easy. Uh, okay. Oh, my bad. Uh, and this is why I don't like coming out here by myself. You know, because my back is against me too, so. I tell my doctor my body's against me. He thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> but it is. That's what it seems like. Okay. I didn't get nowhere. These potatoes been in the house since some been in the house since March. Some came two weeks ago. And I think the small yellow ones I just put in, they were store bought. They were so good I had to try to grow my own. Yeah. Uh, I got some potatoes for a friend. I'm waiting to see if she comes out to the garden today. And, uh, I got some for her to I don't know what I have to do. I don't want to go no further, so let me just pick another size then. Ooh. Sam, can you do me a favor, please? In that container, I mean, uh, there's a bag of soy in there. It's two bags, but I just need one for now. Could you put some in here for me? I'm in the way, ain't I? I'm a move right now. I know you like, she's always in the way. I'm moving. <laughs> now, what do you want me to do? Dump some of the bag, the one bag of soil. Half, half in here and half in there. One bag. One bag, half and half. And I pour it all on one side? Yeah, and then I can spread it. Oh. It's noon. Uh, you can just pour it on the side you're on? I'm, that, that was two hours ago when you heard that. And you stayed on the phone all that time. So that clearly wasn't answering. We're gonna do this box was supposed to be for my peas, but uh, that didn't work out too good. Peas started flowering and uh, never made it outside because it was always too cold. With we always had frost, so and over here, I'm gonna put the rest of the potatoes. That's another pea bed. So I left the peas growing in my windowsill because they got peas on them. And in my way, in my area, you're only gonna get one one shot at your peas flowering. That's it. If your peas don't flower by June, you might as well hang it up. They're not gonna flower at all. 
Yeah, just half on that side. And the other half on that side. Okay. Let's go over there. No, let's go. One more thing. What's that? Stop being a pest. Could you put some, put split, and put some in these containers? I'm gonna put potatoes in here too. Please. Oh. Yeah. Why do you have ugly mushrooms in here? That's mushrooms? I just told you it was mushrooms. Alright, demolished. You took it out? Where are right. No, where was mushrooms? In the container or? On here? They're fungus. There's one in the corner where they took it. I'm not touching it. Oh, that's because of the guinea pig tree breaking down. Fungus growing up? Yeah. Alright, the mushrooms are coming. No, I'm going to in the dirt. I know. I'm not ever touching that. So you don't have problems. Don't get mad at me. I gave you the warning. It didn't look like any type of human species or anything that God did. Well, <laughs> fungus never looks like a human anything. They just look scary. They I don't know, like exactly. I don't like mushrooms. They I can't stand them. They don't look like a mushroom. I, I, I ate a mushroom yesterday. Those look like ungodly creatures. No, those that's are wild take mushrooms. Over your body. Well, let's not go to the um, science fiction shaped movie with uh, mushrooms, please. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm like. like someone about to not make it. No, because you go a little overboard yeah, with right your in the garden with your scientific. To come past and have to pull up the leg to take over. You see, that's what I'm saying. You always go a little too far with your ideas. Exactly. That's why I ain't going next to it. It's over. I seen it. It's, go, it's over there. I'm over here, and that's it. If that thing walk or come over here or grow somewhere that I am going, you don't have to take it out yourself. I am going to take it out. I'm going to use my little dipper. Nope. I mean, my little thingy. Nope. I mean, my, um, what you call that? I forgot what you call it. Dipper thingy. No. My garden spade. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? No, no science fiction. Fungus taking over your body. Tell me it's not real. I see it. On the news. How did it happen? You don't know. Moisture. Well, that didn't come from outside. That came from inside. No, it came from his plant. Well, unless he was eating something from the garden and it went down the wrong pipe and stayed there. Are you talking about a pea that oh, he? Oh, I remember that one too. That his wife cooked was cooking him for dinner. No, I wasn't talking about that. But that I his that. wife is cooking him peas, and That's one bad, pea you know? got went down the wrong way and started growing in his lungs. He had to have surgery to remove. Yeah, I remember that one. Peas are strong. They, his peas. His wife made him that. No, I'm not talking for about dinner. I'm talking about fungus. Plant fungus. Oh. Some fungus, nobody said um, fungus was good, but people like mushrooms. What the, that pea, did it go around his heart? The pea, no, they just grew in his lungs. They got it out because he was having an asthma attack and he never had asthma before. And when they did, when they did the x-ray, they found the cause of his asthma. And they took it out. He lived. He lived. <laughs> he said he'll never look at peas the same way again. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of me growing, planting my potatoes. So I'm done here, right? Uh, wait a second. Potatoes in the first two.
potatoes and those two. If these survive, I will pop them out of the pots and pop them in the ground. Strawberries. With garlic, I think. I have no idea. I saw some Jerusalem artichoke popping up, so maybe they did survive. Almost all my all my elephant garlic is dead in this box and dead in that box. Nothing is happening. So I'll give it a rest. Plant some flowers. I wanted to put flowers in here, but I'll probably save these for herbs. All herbs, 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 and flowers. I have flowers, so we'll see how the flowers take. I got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we'll see. And what I thought was dead, I was so happy to see. Look. My rhubarb. <laughs> it's trampled because my son just wanted to step all over it. So he trampled it. So I'm hoping they like wake up, rise up, say hello again. There's a potato in that mound over there. Doubt if anything happens though. And that's that's everything. That's all the work I did for today with my my son's help. And now I'm tired and I'm hurting and I'm gonna go make lunch. Ciao.